Carl and I have been very lucky to have gone around and been in the fray many times. Uh, and that's what's fun. And uh, I, I've told so many people this week and, and the ensuing month, uh, this last month, we've given lots of interviews about Carl's 50th, that uh, I, I couldn't, could never have accomplished the things that I've accomplished over here without without my big friend here. <laughs> uh, he's, he's been a godsend to me. My name is Carl Jackson. I'm a longtime caddy of Ben Crenshaw uh, for 35 years at the Masters. This Masters was also my 50th Masters as a caddy in the Masters Golf Tournament. Uh, today, uh, we're going to talk to you about uh, uh, three eyes of the caddy. And, and that's, that is a, pretty much a golf lesson from the other side of the bag. That was good. How you doing? All right, how you doing today? Doing man? great. Good. I'm Michael Malley. I'm the uh, head golf professional here at the Georgia Club. And uh, just like to welcome Carl Jackson. And uh, we appreciate what he's doing here today, giving tips to uh, some of our students. and. Uh, in a real uh, basic way so they can understand it without uh, complicating things. And uh, we're excited to have them here aboard of the Georgia Club. Thank you. I really appreciate that, Mike. Yes, sir. Thanks for taking Thank time you. to come yes, over sir. and say that. I, I really you. appreciate and it. Good luck with your golf game. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you so you. much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is Team PGA of America. <laughs> 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 the pro and the caddy. <laughs> uh, first thing we're gonna, we're gonna do talk about is the grip. Um, if you uh, if you could be playing golf and and many times uh, your grip is just not exactly right and and you know from a five handicap or a ten handicapper I have Kyle here who has has what I know is a is a real comfortable looking grip and it's proper. Kyle is going to demonstrate uh, putting your hands on the club one hand at a time to show you the overlap grip. At this point, Kyle is gonna, gonna open up with, as he was gonna put his left hand on, on the club, Kyle has a very comfortable left hand. In the overlap grip, the overlap is, is, is putting his index finger on top and then arresting his other fingers on the club. And then Kyle, now if you, you would sit it down, and that's pretty good. All right, working, working with my friend David here, we've sort of worked it out where we can even get his parts to a little better. And he's a, pretty, he's a good looking golfer. Um, uh, he can play at a, at a five handicap or better. But uh, uh, to deal with this wedge and, and his, his, his uh, parts uh, and ball position right here, I, well, I do want to explain that he's not on a level lie. He's, had, he's on a lot that fades away to him. So we're gonna adjust from that point on what, what uh, David should do. So if you get in there with your natural, natural setup, David. Now, David is in a, if David is in a great position. Uh, things that I see wrong in many other golfers, handicapped golfers out there is they could be in the same ball position 
as David for, with help from your instructors or just a suggestion from a caddy. But what's good about this is he's got his hands a little forward and that's going to, uh, on, on this particular lie, he's going to clip the ball, he's got a chance to clip the ball really nicely. The things that could go wrong with that is um, uh, as you may go to the practice range and try some of these things is I'm going to put David's hands in a bad position, which is straight down the shaft. And that is not good. So get, if you get back in position, I would say uh, David's in a great position. And, he, and I'm asking him to step away, step up, hold up, pull up a minute. And he had room for one more thing. He could, I'm talking to him about using his sternum as a, as a three ball guide to the wedges. And on a down, on a, on a slope that's fading away from you, David is gonna move it, a ball off of his sternum. And I think he'll be in a perfect position. That's really good. I know, I believe, I don't know anything. Every time I think I know something, I get in trouble. But I believe that through many repetitions, after today, David will leave here and, and he will become even a better golfer. Thank you, David. And this here is a little bit better. Okay. Than that one. Yeah. Okay. Your, your base is really good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put down another ball. You, you still got room. Mm -hmm. You still got room to be a ball here. So that's what I'm about. That's what on, on that shot on that slope. With it, with it up up a ball further. Then you got you got more release time, and it could over release, mm -hmm. or it could cost you the whole loan, mm -hmm. you know. But you want to be in a position where you, where it gives you the free swing, you want to be able to swing free. Mm -hmm. And I, I know you know what a free swing is as a tension. Okay, that's really good. Good swing. <laughs>